Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Woo. I look really pale. I just, I mean, I feel like when I look in the mirror, it looks okay. But when I am looking in my viewfinder, I look translucent. Why am I, maybe this is not the color for me. You guys, I'm testing out a new powder foundation today and I, do, I don't know that I have the right shade. I mean, I feel like I do because it matches this, um, which is, very wet right now um but i'm testing out the bare minerals uh bear pro what is this called bear pro performance wear powder foundation um i have the shade cashmere 06 um i did select this online so it was a little bit hard but it, this was what the shade finder told me that i used on the sephora website um yeah i don't know do you feel like do i look washed out I know you guys will be honest with me. <laughs> Some of you are a lot honest with me. <laughs> it's fine. I can take it. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, review coming on this soon. It's not what today's video is about. Today's video, uh, some of you are going to be real happy about because um, I am talking about drugstore uh, mascara. I am talking about my current top five drugstore mascaras that are fantastic, that I would wholeheartedly recommend, that I think everyone should try, provided that you like the same type of mascara look that I prefer, which is very specific. If I'm gonna be honest, I am super picky about my eyelashes. I don't wear false lashes. You guys never see me wearing false lashes, but I'm very particular about my lashes. Um, they have to be, volumized but they also have to be perfectly separated and um, if they are not both of those things I don't have a great day <laughs> when I see people with like crazy spider lashes or just mascara clumped on without like having gone through with a lash comb at least it drives me crazy it just makes me want to walk up to them and run a lash comb through their lashes and just separate some of that volume a little bit <laughs> So, if you like the type of volume that I like, which is full, lush, luxurious even, uh, but you need your lashes to be super uh, separated, I've got a handful of mascaras for you. Um, I tend to get kind of a lot of crap about not showing more drugstore stuff on my channel. There's a few reasons for this. The main one being that I don't have as large of a selection to choose from when it comes to drugstore makeup. And the reason that is, is because if I am able to find a cruelty-free option to replace a non-cruelty-free makeup or skincare or hair care item, then it is my personal preference to do so. I would rather support cruelty-free brands, um, especially for more frivolous things like this. Um, so yeah, stuff at the drugstore, it's uh, Revlon, I can't do, Neutrogena, I can't do, Almay, Maybelline, like that knocks out a ton of like major like companies, right? Now there are uh, a, a number of cruelty-free companies as well, but there's just not as large of a selection, I will say. So um, the fact that I have five that I think are really great options is, is pretty fantastic to me. Hopefully you will like these as well. Um, I will say there's a lot bigger selection for me when it comes to like purchasing from higher end brands. Um, there's, there's a lot of higher end brands that are cruelty free and I, I would really rather support that. So at this point in my life, I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money. You know, I'll, I'll blow some money on the Hourglass Mascara. I'll blow some money on the Mike, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, like the Charlotte Tilbury. I have some definite higher end favorites, but I do think mascara should be replaced quite often. Um, I tend to replace mine every six to eight weeks at the latest. The longest that I've ever kept a mascara in like years <laughs> has been um, two months. Like after two months, whether that mascara is dried out or not, it's gone. Um, there is an opportunity for um, bacteria to really multiply and 
flourish in these tightly closed, I don't want to say the M word, damp environments here. <laughs> This is, a, this is obviously a creamy product in here, and every time that you apply to your lashes and dip back in, you are introducing any bacteria that is on your eyes back into there, and eventually it's going to multiply. And a lot of people have gotten styes or eye infections or pink eye, possibly, if you have shared your mascara. So it's just, it's a smart thing to replace frequently. This is the most frequent makeup item that I replace. Um, eyeshadows, uh, powder products are pretty easy to disinfect, so those I tend to keep a lot longer, but not this. Okay, now we're gonna get into the actual products here. I'll put links for these down below, but if you go shopping at your local Fred Meyer, if you go shopping at, I don't know, Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, what, where, Target, wherever you buy your drugstore makeup, you can find those there as well, but as always, I'll put the links down below. Um, the first is the uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. You have no idea how excited I was when CoverGirl came out as being officially cruelty-free. Um, I just thought that was the best news because CoverGirl was my go-to um, makeup brand when I first started out in makeup. I mean, who didn't use the clean foundation, right? Like, what 1992 teenager did not have that Noxzema smell just like permeating <laughs> their everyday existence. Um, the powders, the eyeshadows, the blushes. I used a, I used a ton of stuff from CoverGirl back in the day. So when they came out as cruelty free, I was like, heck yeah! Because one of my favorite like mascaras from the drugstore was this CoverGirl Lash Blast. It's fantastic. So I tend to go for their very black formulas, but I don't find a huge difference between the black and the very black. I just always prefer the darkest possible option. Um, but this one's fantastic. It really does build a lot of volume, which is what I like. It is a plastic bristle brush, which it, these aren't my favorite. I prefer a natural bristle brush, but this one's really, really good. You do have to be a little bit careful to not like knock this into the side of your nose or I feel like this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But for the most part, this is an amazing, like just great by itself type formula. You're going to get volume. You're going to get separated volume, um, but you're not going to get a ton of clumps. And um, this doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't transfer. All of these are non-flaking, non-smudging, non-transferring on me. So just know that for all of these. Um, this one's fantastic. I love it. And it is a constant repurchase for me. Um, we're going to stick with CoverGirl because there's a few really awesome CoverGirl mascaras. Um, the second one that I really love, and I actually love to pair these two together sometimes. Um, are you a mascara mixer? Let me know your favorite mascara combination down below. I love nothing more than using two, three, four different kinds of mascara to get the most luxurious lash look. Um, anyway, the, the Clump Crusher is fantastic because it can really help you separate your lashes. Um, this has kind of a nice curved shape to it, if you can tell. So it just gets really close to the lash line and really separates things. Sometimes when this can get slightly too clumpy towards the end of its like two month run, I can easily go in with this and then just kind of smooth everything out and they're a fabulous combination together. This right here would be my go-to recommendation for you in terms of a mascara combo from the drugstore. And um, just recently tried this. I really like this one a lot too. Now this one is gonna give you a little bit more length. So I actually prefer to pair this one once again with the Lash Blast. Um, the Lash Blast volume. This is the Flourish by Lash Blast. So obviously, same packaging, just different colors. This one, um, the uh, little spokes, little bristle, brush bristles, because uh, they're plastic, I feel weird saying that, but you can see they're a little bit more spread out. They're not quite as long. They don't hold as much product in between, but what this does is this lengthens my lashes really nicely. Not a ton of volume from this. You can build it up to a very light, natural, everyday volume with a couple of coats. But again, this is one where I like to pair it with the Lash Blast. And it's for days where I do want some more length. Typically, my length is just fine. Um, I do use a, an eyelash serum. The one that I use is from City Beauty. I'll put a link for it down below. 
it's super expensive. Um, I would actually probably gear you towards the Rapid Lash, uh, which I've used in the past and will use again in the future. It's fantastic for giving you stronger, healthier lashes that stay attached longer. Um, I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, this is fantastic when you want just a little bit more length, but you want to combine it with a volumizing mascara. Use, use that and the Lash Blast Volume, and this is a great combo together if you are looking for both length and volume. And then um, let's step away from CoverGirl for a second. The Milani Highly Rated Mascara, I have this in the shade, I think, I think this is like, is it on the box? Black, just black. <laughs> Um, this one's really fantastic. This has the classic brush that I like. Um, this is not new from Milani. Um, I think it's been out for at least a year or two. Um, I used it for the first time last year. It's a great mascara, you guys. This has that natural bristle brush. You can see that it's beautifully separated. Um, there is a fair amount of mascara on the wand, but not too much. Like you're not gonna get clumpy, gross lashes with this. This by itself is perfect. I don't ever feel like I have to pair this one with another mascara, but sometimes if I want to, I can use it with a clump crusher and this is a really great little combo together. Again, the clump crusher is just going to separate everything, provide some good volume, but um, yeah, it's just, it's a great um, companion mascara that I think everyone should have basically. But anyway, um, this Milani highly rated is, I think it's right around 10 bucks, maybe 12 at the most, super affordable, long lasting. Again, no flaking, smudging, transferring, any of that kind of stuff. It's just a great formula. And the price point is spot on. And then my last suggestion, and I do have a little bit of an honorable mention as well. I wasn't going to toss it in, but I feel like I have to because it's such a classic. But anyway, my last suggestion that is officially a part of this like current faves top five is the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. This is a volumizing and lengthening formula. Um, I think I get a little bit more volume from this than length, but this one's nearing the end of its life. I've had this open for almost two months now, so it's just getting ready to go. But you can see, again, a natural bristle brush. I do add a little bit of a bend to these natural bristle brushes so that I it like hugs my eyes a little bit better. So the way that I do that is I just bend the mascara wand, and then it gives me like the perfect curve. So you can see how that just like fits right on my lash line. This formula is fantastic. I will say when you get to the end of the two months, it definitely thickens up quite a bit and it does want to start flaking on you. So this one for sure after two months is like out, but for the price point, don't feel bad about replacing your drugstore mascaras every couple of months. I think um, if it's going to help you avoid some type of eye infection or sty or whatever, it is 100% worth doing that. So yeah, this is another really great volumizing option. And then my like honorable mention here, um, this is probably one of the first mascaras that I ever used from CoverGirl and they still sell it. Um, it looks so small compared to like these other tubes that they have, right? Like all these other mascaras are so big compared to this, but this is the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. If you've never tried this one, you should. Now it does come out pretty thick. This is one that I do have to replace after about six weeks at most because it dries out pretty quickly, but this is a great volumizer, you guys, and this is a CoverGirl mascara that does have a natural bristle brush. Um, my friend Susan swears by adding like a drop or two of Visine in with your thicker mascara formulas. I've tried that. Um, I think I put a couple too many drops into mine when I've done it in the past. Uh, so I've ruined my mascaras, but it might be worth playing with that. Maybe I'll do that with this one with just like one or two drops and see how that works. Um, I think I probably used just too many the last time, but this is like a great honorable mention. If you have never tried this one, you're going to find this at the way bottom of all the displays. Like this is not in with all the rest of the mascaras. It's like CoverGirl tries to like hide it, 
but I think this is a cult favorite, so I think that's why they still keep it around. So anyway, these are my top suggestions for you guys for current mascara favorites, at least in terms of volumizing your lashes. Um, if you've tried any of these, let me know your thoughts down below. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch today. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.